This is Fiery Furnace in Arches National Park. A permit is required to hike the elaborate maze of narrow sandstone canyons filled with challenging terrain. There are some small arrows marking the one trail in Fiery Furnace. That's the area we just scrambled down from. Here's our next arrow pointing us to go this way. And in here, you can only hike on the areas that have the loose sand or on bare hard rock. That soil right there, super precious. That's what you don't want to step on. My hiking buddy is one of my best friend's son. Here comes Carson. There is a lot of bouldering through here. Look at the narrow passageway. And there's Carson up there. Arrow six points that way. So we're going that way. It says dead end ahead. Carson's continuing to scramble up. Oh my gosh, we found an arch. I am so excited that we discovered an arch. Let's walk through it. Let's look through that little hole. We're probably the only ones to see this view today. All right, now we're going this way. Total dead end. Now we're heading back to where we saw the arrow and gonna continue following the trail. There's arrow number seven. <laughs> it fit through. Carson safely made it through. I'm gonna go around because there's actually a pathway. I'm like, there is nothing safe about this. Ow. Now we are into the narrow passageway. Easier than what we just climbed up though. It opens up to where we saw all the snow on the rocks. Here's a 360 degree view. Let's explore another canyon. So he just climbed up there. Of course, I'm not gonna let him go alone. Man, these are big. Is there really an arch? Well, this is gonna be a little tricky. There's the arch. This is what we think is marker number eight. Number nine is on the rock, which means we're going up. This isn't too bad. Yeah! <laughs> Safe. I take the slower approach. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. We're going this way. So that's what, number 11? <laughs> We gotta go that way. This is the kind of stuff that we're climbing on. How is it? <laughs> Put your feet against my side. There's the arrow, and it's gonna take me over there. I'm actually kind of stuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little dance right up through here. We think that's 13. Now we are back out in the open. It pays to turn around. Carson just spotted that arch. We have been in this area, looking for the arrow, scrambling for it, finding dead ends everywhere. And I just found the arrow and it goes that way. You fall it on the right side, see balanced rock in the distance. <laughs> and then over here against the wall is arrow number 16. We are into another tight squeeze. We are going through tight squeeze after tight squeeze. There's another arrow, so we are on the right path. All right, so we've spotted our next arrow. These views are awesome. 18 was on there. 19 was right there. Instead, we just spent 20 minutes wandering, looking for the arrow. It is very easy to get lost back in here. This is what arrow 19 takes us through. The arrow points that way. Some stairs making it easier to go down. Just a little more scrambling to go. Ooh, this feels good to get back out in the sunshine. We just climbed down from up there. We are into the home stretch now. We are out of the maze of fiery furnace and making our way back down the sandy wash. Oh boy, as I am doing the final climb back up to the parking lot, that in there was one of the craziest hikes I've ever done. You get turned around easily. There's so many canyons to go explore. Thank you, Fiery Furnace, for a fun, funny, and sometimes scary hiking adventure. <laughs>